Hey, white truck, you need to hurry up. You're in the way. Hands up. So I'm hijacking New School's boat. I'll show y'all something. Would you go fishing with a man that has this crap laid on his next to his motor? Look at this. He's got wrenches. Would you go fishing with this guy? It's kind of shady. Saying, you gotta have that many dang tools to get you. What's this crap? Up here he comes. Hey dudes, just checking out your great boat, man. It's good. Nice boat. Fake to Ben's going fishing with him. Just remember what I showed you. Okay. You got my phone number in case anything right, breaks down. Right. Bait to bend over here. That's him pointing. That's New School. Check out their channels. This is like a Gilligan video here. Go catch them, boys. Hey, folks, I hope you like that little intro with a couple of my buddies from here on YouTube. Be sure to check their channels out. I'll have a link to them down in the description section below. Go pay their channels a visit. Hey, listen, today we're going to talk about catching a cooler full of fish during one of the worst times of the year to be fishing and that's in june during a catfish spawn i think we might have us a fish on this one nope pop loose well maybe there yep yeah, there it's up on the top let's see if i can keep him out of everything i got here i got drift socks going i got kind of a whole smorgasbord of stuff i might have to go under some lines to get to it. Uh, the rod dance. The rod dance. Facing little fish. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, he's barely hooked. He's not going to make it in the boat. Oh, money popped loose. There he goes. They don't all make it to the boat. But most of them make it back. Bam, got number two going. Hooked up again, dude. Got a second one. These are all appear to be eater-sized fish. I've kind of come up shallow. And a big flat adjacent to the uh, deeper part of the river channel. I'm in the river section of the lake deeper cut a little bit of ways here seems a bit on this flat so far we shall see how it progresses this one will make it in for a picture unlike the last one who remained camera shy good looking little leader blue cat nice one catching them on brim heads and brim fillets this is the time of the year it's may it's time of the year to catch catfish on brim and bluegill. If you got them in your area and can use them, it's the time to use them for bait. Bam, got one going. Uh, no wind, no current. Well, I take that back. There's a little bit of wind. There's a little bit of wind kind of, I'm kind of crabbing in this here. It's kind of advanced level drifting for catfish here. I've got a kind of crabbing in it just to, uh, try to work the channel up onto the flat just to see where the fish are. So far they appear scattered. I'm kind of catching them everywhere. Uh, not optimistic for any monsters, but I'm catching some eaters. We're definitely starting to get into that phase of uh, the bigger fish are disappearing. Uh, slowly, but surely. Still got some of these though, fat little eaters. It's a good time to pick these off if you can find them. Well folks, the time period from Memorial Day through July 4th is probably the worst time to be on the water the entire year if you're trying to catch catfish. Uh, especially if you're trying to catch big catfish because this is when the catfish are spawning. Uh, it really doesn't matter if you're after blues channels or flatheads. All of their spawning times pretty much overlap right here in this area. And whether they're spawning, coming off the spawn, or going to nest, it's tough to catch big fish. But that's okay. Uh, we don't always have to catch big fish. If you're like me, I like to eat some of them. And this is a good time to get on the water, uh, especially if you're in a boat and can drift, troll, or drag. Uh, put the anchors away for a while. Cover some water. Uh, it's a very good time of the year to fill a cooler with catfish. Fish on this? Yes, there is a fish on this. 
sitting there, notice a line swimming off in an odd direction. Guess what? There's a fish on it. Fish on it. Let's see if I can navigate him around all the stuff here. Still no current, still a little bit of wind. Kind of making my way back over to the river ditch where it's a little bit deeper. Just intermittently picking off some fish. This time it's a channel cat. There he is. If I can get a flathead, I'll have to slam. That may be tough today. Another tip here on finding these fish, I would not be that focused on deep water. I know everybody tries, you know, and thinks, man, deep water, deep water, deep water, right there in the deep hole. Not necessarily the case right now. These fish are scattered. A lot of them are coming up on mussel beds and shoals to feed. And uh, you don't have to worry about hitting the deep hole. This is a great time for bank fishermen. People who are fishing off the bank. You don't have to worry about slinging that thing way out there to the deep water. You can catch these things in two, three, four, five feet of water. Middle of the day, you can catch them in that kind of water. So uh, cover water. Don't be scared to go shallow. Uh, don't worry that much about deep water. And it will help you put a lot more fish in your cooler to take home to eat. Let's see if I got one on this planer board. Ah, I think I do. I think I do. I think I do. Yep, small fish but we'll take it. Small, but feasible. Head to the top. I ain't got into another line. Get out of the drift sock. Got out of the drift sock. We got a line, but we got into the drift. But he freed himself. Boom. These are the new planer boards I'm trying out. All right, what do we got here? Blue cat, a lot of eaters up here. They're actually biting pretty decent with the water not moving. Good looking fish. These are the new planter boards. Picture it engraving. Look at them. It's got a little bigger rudder paddle area on it. I'm giving them a shot, trying them out for them. Seeing how they perform. It's like I've said before, all planter boards perform differently. Depending on how you're fishing. The way I'm drifting today, these are working pretty good. The cool thing about drifting this time of the year is if you're new at it, uh, it's very forgiving. Uh, you, you don't have to be as concerned with a very slow boat like you do other times of the year. As a matter of fact, uh, you can catch fish at 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8 miles an hour. I've caught them at 0.9 before when the wind gets gusting up. Uh, fish are a lot more aggressive, especially the channel cats, especially when that water temperature starts getting into the 80s. Uh, their metabolism's high, they're moving, they're active, and uh, it's a lot more forgiving if you're learning how to control that boat, how to slow it down, you're worried about all those things. This is a good time to get out and experiment and try and figure it out and learn your boat and how it fishes on the water. Bam, I just had one smash a planer board. I mean, buried it. I had a couple good arches marked over here. I'm drifting up into some really shallow stuff. Not a big fan of fishing, dragging through shallow water. Prefer to anchor in it. But the wind's taking me this way. There's some arches up in here. I may have to drop anchor in here and see if I can catch some. I don't think he's a monster, but happy to get bit. Decent fish. Y'all wonder why I take the planer boards off. That's why I hate having them thrashing around. There we go. Bam. Looks like he, I say she, crushed the cork and everything. Fish, tied a pectoral fin on that side. Good looking fish, though. 
Folks, this is also a great time of the year to be using bluegill. Uh, the bluegill are spawning. Usually by the time the catfish are spawning, they've already been through one of their spawns, the bluegill have. And uh, catfish are feeding on them. Uh, these fish start to pull up toward the banks. Catfish are feeding on them, keyed on them. It's a great time to use them. And if it's legal where you are, obviously, uh, make sure to check your regulations to make sure that you can use brim and bluegill. Most places you can, as long as you catch them on rod and reel. Uh, it's a very easy bait for somebody to catch, even if you're bank fishing, new to fishing, you can't throw a cast net, you're not familiar with catching some of these other fish. Bluegill are nice and easy to catch, doesn't take a lot of heavy tackle. Get some red worms at a local store, you can dig them up in your yard, get you some bluegill in a bucket, and you're ready to go. Got another one going. Kabam! Hooked up. There's definitely some fish up here in this shallower stuff. Ain't no monsters, there's a lot of eaters in here. All this stuff easily accessible from the bank, casting wise. Tons of eater blues. another nice one I'll give you another piece of advice downsize your baits uh, if you're trying to catch small fish to fill a cooler with and that's what you're targeting there's no real need to be dragging along huge baits uh, this is not the time of the year to uh, catch big catfish sure if you want to put one out you can drag it along but if you're really trying to fill a cooler and catch them and bend some rods go with some smaller baits smaller pieces it's gonna be easier for the fish to take in and uh, it's really what these fish are keyed in and feeding on this time of year. There's a lot of small thread fins swimming around from the uh, hatch, and they seem to be focused in more on those smaller fish and those smaller size baits. All right, got reset on that drift, that first one. I didn't like what was going on. Sometimes stuff just ain't right. You've done it long enough, you just kind of get that feel for when it's right. Wasn't right. Readjust the got back over here. I like the path I'm pulling now. I'm not optimistic for big fish, but I'm optimistic to catch fish. That's what I got, another eater. Nice fish. Blue cat. Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing, and here are a couple of more videos that I think you're going to like.